Hello everyone, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Today we're gonna break down a video of a police interaction with an auditor. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a legal analysis, but more of like a policy-wide analysis on these uh, police and uh, auditor interactions. Again, like I've said before, I'm for auditing when it's done in the right way. I don't believe this was an example of it being done in the right way. So thank you for tuning in. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe, the lawyer, host of the Common Sense Academy. If you like my content, please look, like, subscribe, comment, and share a free way to support the show. I also have an email list. Sign up for my email list. You'll get weekly updates along with a free PDF of uh, the history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement done by yours truly. Now, before we jump into this video, the moment you've all been waiting for, the real reason why you came here, because you know when you have a drink and I have a drink, and when we sip it together, it tastes better. Okay, so raise your drink in the air. Cheers to fun and information, and let's do the same time sip. Ah, I love coffee. It's the elixir of the gods. Now let's watch this video. They show up to accuse an officer of drinking. Is that typically? What's your name, sir? I'll have to give you my name. If you guys have seen a lot of these police interaction videos, you've seen that there's a lot of deception and deceitful law enforcement officers that use various ways and utilize tactics to strip away our rights so it's important to record your interactions if you get pulled over if you get a chance to record without getting shot make sure you're safe and um, have these recording devices uh, readily available for you guys to use if you're going to record then record from a safe distance try not to interfere with an investigation but don't be afraid to get as close as you need to get without uh, interfering or putting anybody in jeopardy or in danger especially yourself record the interactions by bringing you guys these videos and some of these channels i hope that we educate ourselves on uh, on how to hold our public officials accountable so thank you guys for watching make sure you guys go give this channel some support and let them know san joaquin sent you i'll put the link to the video in the description thank you guys so are you part of the accident no 212, what's your name and badge number? So, sir, you're not part of the accident, but yet you're shining that light to distract officers? Is that what's happening? Because that's what it appears like what you're doing to me. So for me, as an officer safety issue, I have every right to look at you. Because my eyes are supposed to be focused on the injured individuals that are over there. I wasn't shining any light at you so until- It appeared that you did, sir. Until you started shining it in my face. Actually, sir, it appeared that you did. So I have every right to make sure that for officer safety that you're not looking to harm myself, no. any of the other officers, I or any no, of the injured individuals I, that I are across no the street. Because my focus is on the injured I, individuals I that know. are across go, the street. Go back to your car, please. So I can't do that until I know what your purpose is here. I'm filming. What do I look like? I'm filming, sir. So, as I said, it's an officer safety issue What's your name that I have to... Number? Sir, under the circumstances, I can just, I'm can just i just going to stand here and just make sure that my off, my other officers are safe, okay? What's your name and badge number, please? So. At this point, I believe the officer was just resorting to bullying tactics. He just kind of wants to exert his authority. The photographer told him he was just there to record, and he could have left and gone back to do his job, is what he gets paid to do. And so the officer decides to stick around, and what you're going to hear the photographer say to the officer next is the reason why I decided to mirror this video and give him a shout out. I was totally impressed and I absolutely loved it. Okay. And until that accident is cleared up and I make sure that the officers are safe and that none of these other individuals, maybe like yourself, that has intent to harm them. I don't have any intent. Then I'm just going to make sure that doesn't happen, sir. What's your name and batch number? So. You smell like you've been drinking tonight. Actually, I haven't been, but... Is that something that you you typically show up to an accident scene to try to observe and say that an officer has been drinking when we have injured individuals and you actually show up to accuse an officer of drinking? Is that typically? What's your name, sir? 
I'll have to give you my name. Okay. Okay. Unless if I've been suspected of a crime. No, as I said, sir, I would just hope that most citizens would be concerned about the individuals that have been injured concerned. in the accident. I am concerned. Obviously, you're not, sir. I am. Your focus is on me, which it should be, if anything, on the injured individuals that are across the street. My focus is on officer safety and the individuals that are injured. So. So if you all want to call Unified, uh, Unified Police, I think you got his badge. He's refusing to identify. I think he's high on drugs or drunk. You might want to report him. It's a license plate 212 597. Unified Police Department. Car number. Well, that was an interesting transaction. Uh, for those of you who have watched my show a decent amount, watch my videos on First Amendment auditors, you know that um, I take a, a middle ground when it comes to the First Amendment auditors, okay? I do think that recording the police at a safe distance uh, during certain transactions um, can actually be a beneficial thing for society as a whole. Um, I don't think that people should get involved in these transactions. So let's break this video down. Um, this is from, I believe, uh, a group of auditors. They call themselves San Joaquin Valley um, Auditors, something along those lines. There's a link below, okay? And you hear the guy at the beginning of the video. He says, you know, record from a safe distance and don't get involved. And I think that's good advice that he's giving. I agree with that. If you're going to do this type of thing, okay, record from a safe distance. Um, the first issue I have with this scenario here is these are police that are investigating an accident, okay? So it's one thing um, to perhaps go and, uh, you know, record, I, I don't know, maybe in high crime areas, but an accident investigation, okay, fair enough. There's still a First Amendment right for these individuals to stay at a safe distance and record. So, um, and, and I think these, you know, this group of auditors, the guy who made the video, he gave some good advice there, stay at a safe distance. Okay. So the transaction begins uh, with the officer um, talking to the, uh, the auditor recorder, and he says something about, you were shining a light at me. So the officer's saying, you were shining a light at the officers during the investigation, and that's why he came over uh, to confront this person. Now, the auditor said, oh, you were shining the light at me first, so maybe the auditor decided to shine the light back. All right, so let's let's rewind that a little bit. Even if the officer was shining the light at you first, you know, his flashlight on the scene, why do you feel the need to shine the light back at the officer? They're out there doing their job. You can just stay back and record safely and continuously. Okay, shining your light back is is a bit retaliatory, it's provocative, it's aggressive, okay? Of course, that is going to prompt the officer to come over and have a response. Um, you know, he comes over and says, what are you doing, what are you doing? He says, I'm filming, I'm filming. Um, okay, that's fine, but you just shined a light on the officer, and, and officers in this type of scenario, okay, they have to make sure the perimeter is safe. So if someone's over there filming, He's completely within his rights to come over and ask this guy some questions and see what the hell's going on. One thing I don't understand with the auditors and is why they always have to take a combative tone with the police. I, I could picture myself in that situation. Number one, I wouldn't have shined the light at the officer, but if he comes over, I would say, 
Sir, you know, uh, I, I'm here, I'm video recording, um, you know, I'm, I'm exercising my First Amendment rights. I don't mean any harm to the situation. Um, I just want to, I, I record police transactions, you know, for transparency purposes. If you did that in a polite manner, okay, you'd probably get a lot farther, avoid a lot of arrests and a lot of tension that is created between these two groups. Instead, it's, it's, uh, I'm filming. What are you doing? Get back over there. Ch giving the officer orders. Being rude to him. Go away. Da 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 da. Um, if you just explained yourself, you may defuse the situation much quicker. And then the the officer says, "What's your name? What's your name?" Okay, maybe that's a bit of an aggressive tactic by the officer. But what's the harm in giving, you know, what's the harm in perhaps giving them your name, okay? But even if you don't want to give them your name, all right, and you could say something along the lines of, look, uh, you know, I work for um, a company that, or a YouTube channel, we have a nonprofit, we're out here, we record, um, you know, I don't necessarily give my name out because I do this in a lot of different places, etc., etc. Uh, maybe have a little card that has your organization. Boom! Hand the card to the officer. Say you can call the inform the this organization for further information. Now, in certain states, okay, in certain states, if they ask for your if they if the police ask for your name, okay, you're actually required to provide them with with at the very least your name. And what harm does it do? It, if you're going to get put your name out there okay maybe you don't want to put your name out there but at the very least i would say you know explain what you're doing and do it in a nice and calm manner so the problem i had with the the auditors who put this up on their youtube is that they then he then he then if you see the interruption in the middle he goes well, why I really put this up is for what this guy did next. And what the guy did next was, you know, he started getting more rude with the officer, asking the officer if he was drinking, okay, sort of uh, being very aggressive with the officer. Why would you applaud that? Why would you applaud that? Like, why, okay, if your whole thing is to record these interactions safely from a distance and not to create tension between the auditor and the officer, why would you applaud him, you know, being rude and combative with the officer? Okay. I don't, I don't, I, I don't think that's, that's a good thing to do. I, I, I also think that taking that attitude with people who are making these videos and sending them to you, um, could result in, you know, bad police and auditor interactions. When what you really want is, is, is a peaceful coexistence of police officers doing their job and then and then auditors staying at a distance and recording in a safe manner um one thing that this guy clearly had on his camera was uh he could zoom in he could zoom in how close to the action does he have to get uh at the same time you know he says the the the, the narrator on this says oh the officer is just bullying him well, no, the officer at this point can have a real concern for safety. I mean, have you watched the news lately? There's sovereign citizens, anti-police people out there shooting and killing police officers, okay, I, without any explanation at all. I mean, they're basically, tar they're basically assassinations, okay? Police and civilian tension has never been higher. So all the more reason for both sides to de-escalate in a situation like this. You shouldn't be, uh, you know, applauding this guy for for asking the officer if he's drinking, and then and then diminishing the officer for taking a step that he may believe uh, is important to safety. I mean, the police. You never know what's happening on a crime scene. People see police out there. They come in there to cause trouble. They could be there to do harm to the police, to cover up evidence. Okay, this officer has a right to be concerned for his safety and for the safety of his colleagues. Okay, wearing that uniform makes them a target. If you don't have respect for that, I don't think you should be out there doing this type of auditing. Again, I stand up for auditing that's done in a safe and non-provocative manner. Um, I believe, though, that the, the auditor in this video, okay, uh, he crossed some lines. He went a little too far. If he would have taken uh, maybe a, not, a more 
um, a, a different type of approach with the officer, okay, and just chatted with him and explained why he was there. Heck, even gave him his name. The officer probably would have left him alone right away. And, and ultimately, the officer did leave him alone. Um, so in my opinion, this is an example of bad auditing. Auditing go wrong, gone wrong, okay? And maybe that's because... You know, when the, the auditors do, would, would stand back silently and do good auditing, okay, then they don't get a video that's worthy of YouTube. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Again, I'm for transparency. I think every officer should have uh, body cameras. I think they should have dash cameras. I mean, there's, there's cameras all over the streets now in most major cities. And uh, I think auditors who want to do the, do this work at a safe distance, I frankly, I applaud them. Now, that might not be create a YouTube-worthy video, okay? But I'll tell you what it will do is if the officers do some misconduct, you're going to catch them, okay? And you're also being a, a, a wider eye over them uh, that keeps them aware of what's happening. You don't have to have this type of uh, combative attitude. So I, I think this was an example of uh, some bad auditing. Um, and, you know, I hope everybody, both sides de-escalate, but I hope auditors learn from this and do it, do it safely and, and at a distance um, in the future. Uh, thank you for tuning in Common Sense Academy. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Sharing this video is one of the best ways to uh, promote and support the show, okay, uh, without spending a single penny. Thanks for tuning in.